Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Well, most commodities, including grains, are lower overnight. Got the dollar a little bit higher. It looks like markets are kind of taking some profits, uh, liquidate some open positions in front of the weekend, and also for the grains in front of next week's USDA report. Continue to hear uh, more and more comments about South American corn and soybean crops uh, lower. I think that uh, Paraguay came out and said their crop might only be 4 million tons for soybeans uh, versus normal crop of 10 million tons. Some people think that that limits the amount of Paraguay beans going into Argentina for crush. We also note that there are rumors floating around that China may have bought six cargoes yesterday of U.S. soybeans out of the Gulf. Uh, the price of PNW U.S. soybeans to China is now cheaper than Brazil. Brazil premiums continue to rally sharply. Um, farmers there are not selling because of the currency situation, and um, they also are concerned about the size of their crop. We also note that internally, Brazil's crushers have a higher price to the farmer than the exporter, and I think that's bringing China back in to our markets. Um, I think that at the end of the day, there could be as much as, let's say, uh, 200, uh, maybe 150 million bushels worth of demand that's going to be shifted to the U.S., and that drops the carryout from the 350 number that the USDA is saying. Most people, though, don't think USDA will be that dramatic on a drop on February 9th. In the corn, we could have as much as 500 million bushels of demand shift to the United States. Yesterday, the corn market saw some selling after the ethanol stocks came out much higher uh, than expected and margins dropped more than expected, suggest that maybe the ethanol uh, production needs to be slowed and that maybe gasoline usage in this country is slowing either because of Omicron or inflation. The wheat market also saw weakness both in uh, Europe, the Black Sea, and also here in U.S. futures. Some of that uh, may have been because of the lower corn market, but, but we really don't have a lot of new news as far as wheat market is concerned, and U.S. export prices are higher than Europe and the Black Sea for any demand, especially to North Africa. Um, again, not expecting uh, big changes in the corn S&D on February 9th, despite all the talk that demand's going up. And we would expect a, a chance that the USDA might lower wheat exports and raise uh, the carryout. We also note here in the United States that all the snow that moved across the southern plains did not really produce a lot of moisture. And so uh, we'll be watching pretty closely um, what the forecast is with La Nina still sticking around at least through the month of February and the impact that might have on dryness in the southern plains. Um, we did note that the storm that's moving across the Midwest and the cold temperatures is probably causing logistics problems, both uh, barge, rail, and truck. So I think that um, we needed this break from an overbought situation in the technical side of things. The fundamentals are, have not turned bearish. Um, again, uh, farmers should sell rallies while end users should take advantage of this drop in prices, maybe to extend coverage. As always, these are my thoughts, not those of ADM, ADM Media Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.